In New York City, video isn't just content, it's currency. From broadcasters and brands to content creators, sports teams and financial giants, NAB Show New York brings everyone together to explore trends, talent and tech shaping the future of storytelling. Well, here we are at the Grass Valley stand here at NAB in New York City and Alex Keithley is with me now. Alex, how's the show going? Day two? So it's actually been a really good show. I think we, I like this show because it's in New York and it means that our big network customers can actually come and see us. Um, when you came up just now, I was talking to somebody who's popped out in his lunch break. You can't do that at the show, at, in Vegas for the big show and so we get to do that it's been a very good show for that and it's been busy the whole time and that is the thing there's lots going on some people have said that maybe New York just wasn't as important but but it is it just shows that there's an awful lot of interest in what's going on in the world so what is going on in the Grass Valley world don't forget that New York is the biggest media market in the world right so um, Grass Valley obviously we've been in broadcast for a very long time um, we're very well known for our hardware products, whether that be a very large switcher that does the Super Bowl or whether it be our cameras, and, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but we're also really at the forefront of moving to software-defined workflows where moving away from individual products doing individual things. I always describe it as this box does this one thing, this box does this one thing. In a software-defined world, you have compute. It does whatever you need it to do. And we're moving very much in that direction and really been at the forefront of that for the last three or four years. So what are we showcasing here? Today, um, I actually have a brand new camera. We have our cinematic large format, large sensor um, camera, which has shallow depth of field, which is people use to tell stories. So when you're at a football game, um, and you've got all these amazing cameras for the, for the actual game, for the match, they use these cameras for close-ups of the, of the coaching staff and they will go from, you know, the shallow depth of field allows them to focus on individual people and individual things. But no, so there's lots of things like that, which is great. And um, that camera's been very well received. Um, it's also very, the people are very interested in it are House of Worship, where they're telling a story. And so other verticals outside of, of broadcast. Yeah, I'd love to talk to you about the other verticals because you've really expanded into other markets. Yeah, so for us, our core broadcast market is still there. We also have a huge market for sports venues, um, for any form of live production, any live arena, any house of worship, but big football stadia, um, large baseball and so on. We have a big market there. We also work in um, the enterprise market, so um, that's corporate companies that have big event spaces that they have really embraced broadcast technology because they want it to look like they're a broadcaster. Um, so large tech companies on the West Coast, so LinkedIn or Apple or Microsoft or um, Meta, all use a lot of that kind of equipment, but then um, here in New York, the home of the banks, um, the banks are doing a lot of this as well. So it's a really interesting market for us. And as you will find with a lot of the bigger vendors here, we're all very interested in that space. And in terms of ease of use then, for the people who are operating all of the systems, all of the cameras in those event spaces, do you still need to have those skills? You do, but they're not as, it's not as mystifying as it was 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Um, you know, the software that we're using today, a single person can produce an entire event. A single person could do Friday night football in Texas, right? which is a religion in Texas, and I fully understand that. Um, the ball is the wrong shape, and they're wearing too many pads, but you know, other than that, um, forgive we'll forgive them. But, but yes, it's, uh, you, you know, a student can do that. Um, and it's touch screen, it's much, much easier than it was. What else can we see behind us here on the well, stand? Today, um, we've got everything we have for, for our um, AMP because it's anything you want it to be. We have 300 apps on AMP, so ingest, we're showing play out here. So we do master control play out for a whole number of tier one broadcasters, tier one um, uh, 
the suppliers to the broadcast interest industry who are doing um, service providers. So play out for the large, the non-broadcast people. So you know when um, Netflix does Christmas Day football on Netflix, somebody has to do that master control bit. They use our gear to do that. That kind of thing. You're ready. Yeah, we're ready and we're doing it today. And you're always innovating, you're always evolving. Dare I ask what's next? Oh, if I knew that, I'd be rich. Um, no, I think I think innovation is key to the industry and I think when companies go through phases, I've been around for a long time and the companies I've worked for have been around a long time, but innovation is always at the core of the success of a company. We are, oh, as a whole, we're technology-led rather than sales-led or um, marketing led and so innovation is key for us what's next we're going to completely um, complete the the whole set of functionality across um, software defined solutions um, and I think we'll see a lot of interest in how vendors can work together using the same compute so if you have a lump of compute it doesn't need to belong to one vendor and the same compute can be used by multiple vendors. That's where I think the industry is going, and that'd be really exciting. Well, thanks so much for chatting to us here at In Broadcast, Alex, and I wish you all the best for what's ahead. Thanks very much. Great to meet you.